Karen Scharf Shem's daughter Mia was among those at the festival, and she is still considered to be missing. Karen joins us now live to talk more about Mia and what happened. Karen, I can't even begin to imagine what you're going through right now, so thank you for taking the time to join us here. Thank you. Tell me first off how you were able to find out what was going on and that your daughter was there at the music festival and had not been located. Um, it took me many hours uh, until I got this um, text message that my daughter sent to one of the the festival organize, organization. Uh, she call, she took call, she wrote to him. They are shooting at us. Please come and save us. And since then, there is no tracks of her. I have so many rumors. Some say that she and her friend, Elia Toledano, which is missing too, they went uh, into their car and they start running away. But uh, the enemy shot the wheels and they had to get out of the car and to run away. I think that everyone ran to a different direction. And some people say they saw Elia get uh, sh that he was shot in his back. Some say that my daughter got shot in her leg. Some say in the shoulder. Everything is rumor. And I lost touch. She never called me. She was in a very, very bad situation because she, she had time only to write to someone that was at the party and she asked him to come and save her. And since then, I heard nothing. Nobody from the government approached to me. No one asked me nothing. I put here um, um, a wall room with my family and friends. All the information I have is because we did it by ourselves. We looked for people who went to this uh, festival. And I asked from the police to, from the police to see where she was last traced. And they said that at three o'clock on Saturday, they found her uh, phone at Kibbutz Miflasim, but it doesn't mean anything because it can be something like 500 meters near Miflasim, so maybe it's the same place she was when they were hurt. No one, no nothing. We are in a very, very big chaos here. The numbers changing from minute to minute. It, it, it started with 250 dead. Now we are talking about 1,002. The, the, the prime minister, he talks, he's talking about our kidnaps, he's talking about our dead people. Nobody is talking about our missing citizens. And I can tell you for sure that like me, there are at least between 100 to 200 families that don't know where their children are. We know nothing. And it's not just that. We are going through cyber war too. You know, we opened many WhatsApp groups and like um, 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 family missing, forum missing, all these types of groups. And all the time we get message in Arabs, very tough words like we are going to rape your babies. Two days ago, I got a phone call from someone who spoke in Hebrew and he asked questions like, well, did you find her? And it's, while he was talking, I told my sister, hang up the phone because I understood that it was the enemy. They know everything about us. They know what we're looking for, where they live, where we live. I just want to say that this is not a war. This is a crime against humanity. 
there is something that calls civil rights. It's unbelievable that we are sitting here. We have no idea how many citizens are missing. The list is changing all the time. It started with 30 people, and then it's 80 people. Now they are talking about 200 people. And everything is rumors, yes? I see the, God, the, the prime minister talking in the TV. Nothing about missing. Until today, nobody called me. And even today, they called me because I called them. Nobody is looking for them. I'm begging the world. First, I want to say that this war, it's not against Hamas. Hamas became Daesh. I can't even imagine or express in words what we are going through here. We are in complete darkness. We know nothing. All the numbers doesn't fit. Sometimes 1,000 dead, sometimes. I mean, this we are in a very, very big chaos. And our children, my beautiful daughter, she's only 21 years old. She just want to go to a party. And she didn't come back. I'm begging the United Nations to interfere because when you go to a war, you put uniform, you have weapon, and you fight. This is not war. This is not war. This is a very, very big crime against humanity. There are civil rights. Where are our civil rights? All I ask is to get a list of all the citizens, the citizens that they took from us, who is there? I know that my daughter was engineered. Maybe she's bleeding to death somewhere. You know, we are still under fire, our army. They do all the best they can, but they can't get every place. They can't go and, and look under bridges, in caves, because they are still shooting at us. This is an... I, had, I, I, I really, I, I can't explain the situation that we are in. Can you tell me about your daughter, Mia? Because we are looking at photos of her right now. We know, as you mentioned, she is missing and there's been no word at this point. Tell me about her. First, I can say that, unfortunately, she has so many marks that can help recognize her. She has tattoos, she has earrings, she has bracelets. Um, my daughter is a very, very grown-up daughter for her age. She's only 21, but she has a mind of 51. She has been through a lot in her private life and in this past two months, good stuff started to happen. She's very creative. She's a painter. She is learning how to tattoo now. She only started her life. She has three more brothers. Her small sister is only 10 years old. She's very, very attached to her. Um, my children, they have only me. And I'm begging you, bring back my baby home. I'm begging you. It's only, it's not just me. She has three more brothers and a very, very small sister that she's so close to her and I'm a single mother. I raise my children alone. Mia is my right hand. She helps me in everything. You know, I'm thinking only positive thoughts until now. But to face it, it's been six days. 
I'm begging the world to interfere. Give us the list of all the citizens that you got. Who are you holding? Please, that's not a lot to ask. If you want to go to war, go to war. This is not war. This is a very, very big crime against humanity. We talked about this a little bit earlier, but what message do you have for your daughter right now? What would you what would you say to her right now? I want to say to Mia that I will do everything me and my sisters and her and Asaf and my friends everybody will do everything to get her back. I will give my life to bring my daughter back. I will do everything to bring my daughter back. She is my love. She knows that I will. I can't live without her. And I will do everything, everything to bring her home. And I want her to know that we are doing everything to bring her home. I spoke to almost all the media in the world, to Romania, to England, Iran. I spoke to everyone. I asked help from everybody that can help me. Her friends, she has such, so many good friends. She even don't know that. So many people are here every day doing everything. We have now millions of posters all over the country. I will do everything. I will give my life just to get Mia, my baby, my, my princess home. Please help us get my daughter home and all the other children that are missing and their families in my same situation because most of them the last thing they heard is that their children were shot or they are hiding and they are afraid please help us this again this is not a war between jewish and arabs it's not that this is a crime against humanity please please interfere give us the exact list and make sure that nobody will get harmed. Have you, it's my understanding that there's kind of, I guess, a, a list going around right now of people who are missing, family members uh, overall who are trying to get together and put something together. Have you been in touch with other families who, who do have someone missing? I've been in touch, but I tell you the truth. I, I don't count on this list. I think they get, I, I think this list is from videos that they see. No one got a list from the Hamas. List. All the information we have is from videos. It's, for, it's from people we saw here, we saw there. And the worst is that at the beginning, they say they have 30 people that they were kidnapped. And after a few days, most of them were found dead. They just took the mobile phones, they, they put them in Gaza, so we will believe that they were kidnapped. They are playing with us. They are playing with our souls, with our minds. This is a very, very psychological war. That's what I'm saying. This is a crime against humanity. This is not a war. Even war has rules. Where are the rules here? Uh, Karen, thank you so much for taking the time to join us here. And we're going to be in touch here over the next several days as we hope that you and your family are obviously able to get answers here. Is there anything else that you want to add before I let you go? I want to add that I have four children. You know, every mom in the world will tell you that her children are the best. 
so it's a bit funny but my my she's such a special girl she have she had so many difficulties and she had through a lot with our family complicated situation and she's so mature and she got to such an understanding that even 60 years people never get there she doesn't deserve it really I, nobody deserve it but this is not the end of my baby my baby is a warrior i know she's a warrior and i know she will be back i'm just begging for help before it it will be too late because i don't know nothing about her medical condition i know she's a warrior she will never she's a survivor and she's a warrior and i'm begging you to do all you can to help us bring our citizens our babies back home where they belong thank you very much for your time Karen, thank you again for taking the time to join us here. And our thoughts, our prayers are with your family and hopefully you get word uh, soon. Thank you very much. And I do wanna leave you with these photos right here of Mia. Take a look at your screen. One of many people who are missing there after that festival attack uh, that was conducted by Hamas. We know the death toll is now at 2,600. And we heard a bit earlier from U.S. Secretary of State Antony Blinken as he did confirm that at least uh, 20 or so people are Americans among the dead. He is still over there in Israel right now. He's done a few different uh, media availabilities and speeches. So if he does start speaking again, we will make sure to bring you those comments live, raw and unfiltered.